what is going on guys, it's Suck and um, once again here. I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper 10. Now in today's video I'm going to be unboxing these bad boys, so we'll take a look at that. These are Apple's latest generation of wireless headphones, get my face out of that shot. There we are, the latest AirPods Pro. Now these are brand new. As you can see, the month dating on that in the bottom corner, the 10th of 2019, and today is the 30th of the 10th of 2019. So, without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So first up, taking a look at the box, the box looks like every other AirPod box with an image of the product on the front and the Apple logo and the product name on the sides. As many of you may know, I am a details man and I love looking at small details and I love that with these AirPods Pro that they have included a plastic pull tab like they have on a lot of their other products which incidentally enough is still not available on the second generation of the AirPods. Taking the lid off the box, we get our first look inside and surprise surprise, we are greeted by a design by Apple in California documentation envelope. Within, you will find a quick start guide which gives details on how to set them up along with instructions on how to use them. This is then followed up by a safety notice on how to handle them which is once again followed up by warranty and regulatory compliance information. Placing the AirPods Pro casing off to a side and removing another piece of packaging, we see two pairs of additional sized ear tips which are small and large. The medium come pre-installed. And other than this, you'll find a lightning to USB-C cable which as standard has an approximate length of one meter. Taking a look at the AirPods Pro case, it looked very similar to the casing found on every other generation of the product, though this time it's noticeably thicker and elongated when compared to those previous iterations. Of course with this model, you are also able to wirelessly charge the case and in turn the AirPods themselves. The setup procedure is identical to other AirPod models or even the HomePod or anything that may use the H1 or W1 chip such as some selected Beats headphones. This means that all you have to do is place the products next to each other and follow the setup instructions on screen. There we are. Um, so there, is, there are some settings here right, that you can use to, to kind of tweak it a little. So I'll just take a little closer look at that. Right, so currently I've got noise cancellation on and there is definitely a reduction in the amount of noise that I'm hearing. If I turn it off, yeah, yeah, I can hear the, the bass back in my voice, I, I can hear I can hear myself uh, a, a lot clearer. Uh, transparency, let's try that. And yeah, because my voice is actually coming through the microphone, I'll ease it back to me. Yeah, I can hear it a lot. I know my voice a lot more and I can also hear the wind a lot more as well. Um, but yeah, these, they're, they're, they're actually quite solid. Um, I did this in the last video, um, which was like oh, was two, three years ago when, the, when the, the AirPods first came out. So let's try it again with these. Have a headache later, but I'm the guy that uses the second generation AirPods, you know, the ones with uh, no noise cancellation. Coming from those, there is a massive difference. Oh, yeah, talking about the case, let's see case difference. Yeah, it's literally just a little longer, um, kind of a little thicker as well, a tad thicker. All right, you can probably tell if I do that that way. This one is a tad thicker. Um, yeah, fuck it. Let me play a song. Hey Siri, play some music. Yeah, you stop that. Um, if you want to take a look at how they kind of sit in my ear, because they are they are a lot smaller uh, than typically you'd find the other AirPods. So here is what uh, the AirPods Pro look like. Take a quick look, and I'm going to switch over and put the left one of the standard AirPods in. 
So different from that. So yeah, I mean the, the stems are longer as you'd expect, but at the end of the day, I mean the stems are longer on the on the older ones and shorter, of course, on the newer ones. But uh, we'll see what the battery life is like because obviously that's going to be another cause for concern. Um, I saw, of course, with the noise cancellation on and off and all, all the other stuff. But I'm going to I'm going to close this one up. Right? I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to seal it. They're decent. They, they do sound pretty good. Now I am going to get the Sony the MF 1000 Mark 3. You know the in-ear noise cancellation Sony ones. Because I think these are going to be the only ones that you can really compare them to right about now. Um, I don't know or have heard of any other in-ear noise cancellation completely wireless headphones like these or those. Um, so I'll, I'll try them against them and I'll try uh, other things. So. Stay tuned for this video. I will have the new Google Pixel Buds. Um, I'll have the Surface Buds, the Amazon Alexa Echo Buds, or whatever they are, they are calling them. I'll put these uh, AirPods Pro, the AirPods um, 2, I guess. Um, there are some other ones out there. The uh, the, Pic the the Bixby Buds, the Galaxy Buds. There's a few other ones out there, but I'm going to make a video. I'm going to have them all in it. That video should be coming. I'm going to say start of December because obviously it will be a full comprehensive review and in that time I will have each individual one. Um, so yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you have got any questions, any comments or anything like that, then be sure to leave them down below in the comment section or alternatively if you have a look in the description or this should be somewhere here on the screen. If you take a look at that, you can go and hit me up on my social media choice is yours uh, once again thank you guys very much for watching subscribe if you haven't click the like button if you've liked the video and i'll see you guys next time